All right, guys, we're getting ready to go out this morning. We're going to take Troy and Murray, Scott McNew, and myself out to Caney Creek and pick up Troy's uh, 55 vert that he got done out there. It was a Baja when he bought it. We'll show some pictures of that. And they got it all put back together, and it's ridiculously nice. Uh, we'll go through the Caney Creek Boys shop and just see what they got going on over there. They did my beige bug. They did Scott McNew's 58, and uh, they're, they're working on some other stuff. So it's a carload full of uh, Caney Creek uh, people who's enjoyed it. So we're going to be rolling uh, Scott's Monster uh, Platinum F250 in my trailer. And so we should be able to make this happen nice and easy. So come along. So, Troy, are you ready to see your car? Super pumped, man. Yeah. I've been waiting a long time for this. So we got about 11 miles to go still. And at this point, can you tell us a little bit about the process of the car? The process of the car. Like purchasing it. You were uh, drunk yeah, one yeah. night yeah. on eBay. Yeah, I had one too many beers. Yeah. Uh, no, it was, uh, it was a buddy of mine back in Idaho that I knew had it. So I, Messages him one night and uh, said, "Hey, if you ever think about selling that, give me the first like, first chance of buying it." Thinking it wasn't going to be for sale, and he hit me right back up and was like, "How much you can give me?" Basically, <laughs> I was like, "Uh oh." So I bought it a few, year, probably four years ago. It sat at the shop for a while and made some progress, but it just wasn't moving as fast as I, I needed it to. Uh, I talked to to y'all in the club and was just saying like, "Who could?" Could get the paint job done for me. You could do it to a level that I want and a time frame I'm okay with. And uh, Jason and Jeremy and Caney Creek kept kept coming up and kept coming up in those conversations. And so uh, I bought the car and had it shipped down. Moved it over here about a year and a half ago. Maybe not quite. Maybe 15, 14 months. And, uh, so yeah, I'm really pumped. I'm gonna go. Have you seen it yet? Uh, I've seen pictures, but I haven't seen it painted. So. Oh yeah. So today's your first day to put some hands on it? Today I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, it might be too nice to put hands on them. Well, we know how it goes. Uh, we are, we're riding with Scott McNew here too, and he got his done. Yours is a 58? 58, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go back to the shop and check some pictures out of that. And then I got the 68 done there. Um, so uh, we're excited to see what the 55 looks like. So Murray, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. It's 51, um, in need of a whole lot of metal work, so uh, that's been taking, uh, taking place uh, discreetly over the last, uh, say, eight or nine months. So uh, I think from the door bottoms to all metal ahead of the, the front gas, rear quarters, and uh, heater channels um, have all been redone, and uh, we're almost uh, nearing paint. So. It's scary. Uh, and what year is it? A 51? Yeah, 51. 51 Deluxe. So one of the things I thought was pretty cool about this car um, when I got the title from my, my friend back in Idaho, it was actually registered in 19, or last titled in 1974 on a little street called Wiley Lane, um, which was a, a small eclectic street. Um, and it happened to be the first house I lived in um, when I moved to, moved to Idaho with my family from California in the early 70s. And so um, I have no doubt, I don't remember it, but I have no doubt that this, this exact car 
car drove by me, you know, several times during the during those few years that I lived there. You know, once that kind of came to light, I, I just knew that I had to go all the way with this car. Like it was, a, it was meant to be. I'm not super religious, but but maybe I believe in destiny, and so. I felt like it all happened for a reason. I was super excited to get it. I've been wanting a convertible. We live about 45 minutes from the Texas Hill Country and, and some wineries and some really spectacular driving. And so I wanted a car that we could jump in on the weekends that wasn't as loud and obnoxious as my bus. Uh, it was a little more refined. Just jump in on the weekends and, and grab my, my wife, spend some time together on the weekends. And, and so that's why I decided to, to build this 56 convertible. I'm, Super excited. Hope maybe we'll get a chance to check back in and, and y'all will get a chance to see uh, the build as it's, you know, progresses or, or when it's done. Uh, it'll, you'll see it touring the Texas Hill Country with a picnic basket and a bottle of wine in the back, so. Pretty good day today, guys. Awesome nice day. Trip, man. Awesome Volkswagen day. Oh, yep. Yeah, we did lots of stuff, made it happen. So we made it back. Um, everything is delivered. We, we dropped the 56 off. I, I know I mentioned earlier that it was a 55, but it's actually a 56. Apparently there's some pretty big differences in the Volkswagen world with 55s and 56 for convertibles and maybe even regular standard bugs. It's come a long way. It used to be a Baja. Troy got the front and rear aprons put back on. You can barely even tell or not even tell that there's uh, that there was any work done to it now. And it just looks beautiful. The pan, it's got a whole CRC, Cool Rides Customs front um, A-arm suspension setup on it. He's going with like a Berg 5-speed in it. It'll have a 36 fuel-injected setup on it with an AC. So this car is going to be over-the-top crazy. On our trip, Murray came along with us, Murray Wilson. So we were also able to see Murray's 51 split window. It's been around for a very long time, and Murray's cruised it forever. It's got a really reliable 2-liter uh, motor in it and it sits on the ground pretty cool. He used to rock South African Sprint Stars on it, but now he's making some changes. It's ready for paint. He hasn't quite made the decision exactly what color he's gonna go with right now. And then there's a little bit of body work left over, but that's a really, really nice car. And once Murray's finished with it, it'll be really cool. Our uh, chauffeur for the day was Scott McNew, and he has a really nice 58 that he's had for a very long time. We all sort of started taking that car apart a long time ago, about 10 years ago. And he took his car to Caney Creek. It's black with like a uh, blood red Australian style uh, insert in it. The interior is done. That car is basically done. I built him a two liter with 44s on it also. Uh, we still haven't put that in the car. It's got about 50 layers of clear on it. So it, the black just looks super deep, super wet all the time. And Scott's a really cool guy. Um, it's really nice that we were able to use, he, he, you know, he took us along for the ride. So he has a big truck that made life and uh, leg room really nice. And since I was a passenger, I get to claim that I was part of the uh, Caney Creek crew too, because I was, my 68 Savannah Beige was done there. There was a June bug rally where I put some uh, racing stripes on it with blue tape, and I thought it was really cool, but the sun baked it in. And when I went to pull the tape off, it pulled the paint with it too, and then, Candy Creek took care of it. It looks beautiful right now. Uh, I'm part of the same crew. So our entire crew that we went down there with, um, all of us has had a car done there. Um, and Jeremy and Jason head up that shop over there um, and do just a really nice job. They know Volkswagens really well. And so they take the, the time to do Volkswagens correctly. Uh, not very talkative, so we didn't really interview them much, but we do want to give a shout out to them and just uh, give them uh, give them a nod so we all understand and, and realize how cool they are. Uh, the VW Harvest is our car show. It's coming up here in October 17th, so that's going to be really nice to get everybody back together. Uh, you know, COVID hasn't really let everybody get around each other too much, um, and it's great that we're going to be able to, to, to make this happen. Uh, we'll raffle off the 65. Uh, I personally love that car to death, um, and I wish I could I could win it. We also have some new sponsorship that's coming up that we're going to be doing some collaborations with, which will be really nice and it'll be really cool for everybody to get a part of. So don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your aunts, tell your uncles, 
and maybe turn the notification on so you can hear when the next new one is. Enjoy your time, have a great rest of your Thursday, and we look forward to uh, seeing you soon. Thank you.